Okay, hello. My name is SK Koma from Asikase Corporation in Japan. I'm very happy to talk, able to talk to you today. I, uh, today, I'd like to talk about automatic summary generation with generative AI. Okay, uh, here is the out outline. Uh, first, uh, I'd like to start by talking about the explanation of the summary, uh, which is the su subject of this study. Uh, this summary is a proposal document uh, that describes the concept, uh, concept at the earliest stage of housing design. In this paper, uh, we studied about the exterior design. Uh, uh, this summary is an important factor in the process of receiving an order. It has, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Hmm? Sorry. Okay. Huh? Ah, okay. Okay. The, and in housing construct process, and uh, the design design. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the the. Mm, Ah, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> the designer summarizes the, the contents of interview with the customer and, and the geographical restriction um, as the design constraints. And next, uh, the, the oh, sorry. Desi designer uh, uses the cons design constraints as a uh, as a as an input to create the design summary. Uh, and finally, the design, designer make a presentation in which includes design summary and propose it to the customers. Uh, therefore, the quality of the design summary affects the quality of the proposal. So, uh, uh, sorry, uh, and it contributes to the order rate. The next, uh, I, I'd like to explain the example of the, the constraints and then summary. The then constraints is, uh, for example, uh, the customers want, customers want to want a bright and special space, and they want to enjoy the holidays at home without going out, such a, this is an example. And on the other hand, the then summary is, uh, uh, it's, it's very tight to maximize the fun at home, and to emphasize that the house is not boring, uh, even if they don't don't go outside. And this emphasize also emphasize that they can enjoy the right and nature. This right and nature. Sorry. Then the the purpose of our study is. Uh, as I mentioned, the design summary is an important factor in contract process. However, this is a pro big problem with creating a design summary. The problem is, problem is that uh, the, the quality of design summary largely depends on the skill and experience of the designer. In this study, we attempt to reduce quality variation by automatically generating design summary from design constraints. Then, uh, here's the related work. Uh, previous research on application of ChatGPT uh, to practical tasks include the case of automatic generation by uh, of medical te text by Liao at all, and the ex extraction of accurate material data from research paper by Polak and Mugan. In addition, uh, it is famous to use multi-step reasoning, especially the chain of thought method by way at all uh, previous work uh, as a previous work research. In this study, we have accepted the multi-step method in prompting. Next, uh, I'd like to talk about, uh, about uh, analysis. Hmm. The, the data set con consists of uh, 14 pairs of design constraints and then summaries cr created by human experts. All of them are written in Japanese. So, uh, 
It's important to note that all the following prompts and examples are translated from Japanese to English. As far as I can tell, there's no previous work uh, on these summaries, so it is necessary to start by analyzing the data set. The data, uh, sorry. Uh, the analysis uh, consists of four, uh, four, um, four perspectives, and following slides, I, I, I explain the perspectives each of them. First, uh, we analyze the structure of the Zen summaries. Uh, the <laughs> this, analysis in, uh, this analysis is necessary for exploring the desert and for thinking about how to structure the prompt. From this analysis, uh, we found that the desert consists of three, three sections, title, concept, and design description. And we found that the title and or concept section include, uh, contain an impressive phrase that attract the uh, customer's interest. Secondly, we analyze the correspondence, the correspondence between design concept and the summary. The subject of the analysis, this analysis is the mapping of the correspondence of them. In this analysis, we found that design constraints include not only positive uh, constraints, but, but, mm, but also negative constraints. Therefore, we perform a sentiment analysis to learn about the trend of design constraints. Thirdly, we, we investigate the contribution bias, uh, sorry, contribution of each sentence in design constraints and then summary. As a result of analysis, the design summary did not reflect all the uh, constraints. In other words, we found that there is a contribution bias in design constraints. Finally, uh, we, anali we, anali we, we analyze the quality of design summaries. Uh, here we ex examine how, how each polarity of constraints Party of constraints in the constraints map to each section of the in summary. Uh, as a result, we found that the title and con concept section uh, reflect almost only positive constraints. On the other hand, design description section uh, reflect both positive and negative constraints uh, equally. Then, uh, as a result of the analysis, we for following char characteristics were revealed. Firstly, uh, firstly, the title section and our concept section include an impressive phrase that attracts the customer's interest. Secondly, there is a strong contribution bias of specific design constraints reflected in the design summaries. Thirdly, the title and the concept section respond to almost only the positive constraints. Finally, the design description section is one to both positive and negative constraints. Uh, here, is the, um, procedure, here is the procedure of the, our prompt. Uh, utilizing the knowledge of four characteristics, we designed the prompt that, that realized the generation of design summary in March steps. In the following slides, I explain each step of prompt. Uh, firstly, step one, uh, we instruct the GPT to extract a small number of requirements from input. And this prompt ex extracts positive requirement with the word desire. And, and then uh, uh, extract the negative requirement by the word issue. In step two, we instructed ChatGPT to generate an impressive phrase by deep in thinking, and we instructed it to generate a concept that responds to the desire. In step three, we also instructed ChatGPT to generate an impressive phrase, and we instructed insert to generate a title that summarizes the concept. 
In step four, we start to generate the design description that responds to both the desire and the issue. Finally, step in step five, we instruct ChatGPT to combine them without summarizing and instruct it to generate the design summary as, as a final output. The output of ChatGPT looks like this here. As a result, we are able to output the design summary in multi steps. And next, here is the evaluation. Here is, uh, here is the evaluation. Uh, the human ten, hu ten, hum ten human experts evaluate human experts evaluators scored against the forty samples uh, that created uh, that created by human expert and created by ChatGPT. The evaluation is blind and. Uh, the evaluation was placing the design summary created by human experts and and the mm, by human experts and by ChatGPT side by side. Then uh, here is the evaluation matrix. Uh, there is the three metrics: uh, expressiveness, feasibility, and practicality. Expressiveness is a me me measurement of appropriateness as a design summary. Fe uh, feasibility is a measurement of possibility in terms of design and construction. Practicality is a measurement of usefulness to create a design summary based on this, con con this content as a draft. Uh, each of these three metrics was evaluated on the five-point scale. Please look at the box plot. Uh, blue is the result of uh, human expert, and the oran oranges are uh, ch by ChatGPTs. Firstly, in terms of expressiveness and feasibility, uh, the design summary by the expert was rated higher than ChatGPT. On the other hand, in terms of practicality, experts and ChatGPT were almost equally scored. Furthermore, in terms of variation, ChatGPT was smaller. This suggests that the summary generated by ChatGPT is useful for using it as a draft. The next is an error analysis. Uh, we analyzed the design summary generated by ChatGPT, which had low, low score in, in all metrics. The design summary had the following characteristics. Firstly, the word walkway appears rapidly. It is expected that the low, this lowers the expressiveness. Secondly, the walkway is described as overlooking this garden. In response to this, the evaluator pointed out that it lacks feasibility. There is also the expression, expression emphasize the charm, em, em, emphasize the rural charm. This is too sudden and not pr up practical. This is conclude my, my presentation. Thank you for your attention.